Hamza Chimaev is perhaps the greatest story of bursting into the limelight only to be brought back down by doubt and COVID. He's shown potential in his fights, finishing lower tier opponents within seconds and turning doubters away. Yet as the hype grows, so does the doubters, everyone in their own corner having something to say about the budding star. In this video, we'll take a look at the fighters who could talk the talk but fail to walk the walk. Here is before and after fighting Hamza Chimaev. The Boris fighter was relatively unknown until the summer of 2020 when he came in as a replacement bout against John Phillips. Not only unknown but unproven, fans didn't have high expectations from the last minute stand-in. That tone quickly all changed as Hamza was dominating John Phillips, ending the bout with a second round submission and taking home his first performance of the night award. Chimaev saw the path open as he earned more fame and money in two rounds than he ever saw in his prior matches. Hamza would make the decision to stay in Abu Dhabi and within 10 days, he would see his next match materialize against newcomer Reese McKee. Without hesitating, Hamza would make light work of Reese McKee in the first round via technical knockout. His performance earned him another bonus that day and also marked a new UFC record for the fastest consecutive wins in modern UFC history at 10 days. Where is the ceiling for you? Where is your limit? I don't know, brother. I can't fight after one hour. If somebody injured, just tell me. I'm here. I'm gonna smash everybody. <laughs> here we would see the relatively unknown fighter turn into a viral sensation overnight. Taking on the fame meant all the more criticism as many doubt the Russians' ability to fight top fighters. However, Hamza had already made his mark on the UFC world as one that would fight anytime and anywhere. Less than two months from his first win, Hamza Chimaev would go on the hunt again for his next challenge. Here he would fight against a veteran in Gerald Mearshart, someone who he wouldn't be able to underestimate. How many times you lose your fights? Oh, well, that's quite a few yeah. fights. 31 and 32, you, you think you're a black belt? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, when you Jack fight Hermans, tough guys, Jack, Hansen, you Jack Van Hermansen, I'm not, he, he did not have a black belt. Why he, he choke he choke you out? Sometimes yeah. you lose when you fight tough well, guys, man. Who give you? You'll find out. Belt. I have blue belt. I'm gonna choke you out. You can go ahead and try there, buddy. You have to give me it. your black belt to me. <laughs> Nothing before the fight phased Hamza as he went in for the kill shot 17 seconds into the round. Fighting someone a weight class higher and also being able to have that much lethal power shocked the MMA world. Adding on to his wall of bonus checks and awards, Chimaev would win two more this night. He secured the fastest three fight winning streak in modern UFC history at 66 days and a third straight performance of the night award. Whether it's fighting against the next unknown or a fighter bigger in size, Hamza Chimaev always took the challenge head on. In the same manner, the famed fighter would take on COVID-19, but he would leave the fight with more damage than he's taken in his last three fights in the UFC. Просто болел, стресс был и за то, что не могу драться, не могу тренироваться, поэтому такие слова были. Ну там не было такого, что я дал слово, типа я завершил всю карьеру. Я сказал, может для меня это все. Ну, может не все, может и все, не знаю. Слышали от одного из менеджера, от одного из ваших менеджеров историю о том, как вас забрала скорая и там проскользнули такие слова, что-то вроде Хамзат чуть было не умер. Вот можете про эту историю рассказать, как там на самом деле все было? Ну, как они сказали, так и было. Просто я не хотел, я не хотел даже, что они да, об этом говорили. И просто mm -hmm. то, что сказано, уже сказано, что поделать. Было такое ситуация. Mm -hmm. Люди умирают из-за этой болезни. Я не умер. <laughs> After recovering and coming back focused on fighting for the gold strap, Hamza would finally get a chance to prove himself against a ranked opponent. Ranked 13 at the time, Li Jingliang would be the most problematic opponent for Hamza, as many saw him matching the Russian fighter both on the ground and feet. Li has had over 7 years of experience in the UFC fighting against top contenders. He was also a black belt jiu-jitsu practitioner, ready to take on Jemayev wherever he wanted. These two would not back down during the pre-fight matchups as well. 
。I gonna eat him. 哎，我知道你很 hungry， 不好意思，我也很饿，我不但饿，我还想喝点血。哎呀MMA fans saw the same fate for Li as Hamzat's last three opponents as the Russian fighter would take the match through the ground immediately, rendering the leech useless and finishing him with a rear naked choke. Big shots. These are big shots by Chimaev. Oh, he's got to do that! Under the chin here. Could be the end. The leech is still fighting. He moved the lock. He was able to find the top hand, Paul. That's why he's still able. Now, now it's tight. Nice. Yeah, now it's tight. Now he's in trouble. He's gonna go to sleep. Oh, that's in tight. That's that's so tight. He's trying to turn in the leash as well, tough as they come. Yeah, he's wow. trying to. Well, he's trying to get his back fully. He doesn't have the right angle. Yep. Yeah. Now he's got the right angle, Paul. The leash is creating angles. Look at this. Now he's got the right angle. Oh, he's got to fight the hand. Side. He's sleep if he doesn't fight the hand. It's over. It's over, Paul. It's over. That's it. With each performance of the Knight Awards, we've seen Hamza Chimaev continue showcasing his impressive skill set. It's clear that he may be unmatched in the ground game and has more than enough firepower to compete with the best of them. Now that the Boris fighter is ranked, he's going to be a target, yet he's proven doubters wrong again and again. Hamza has impressed the MMA world more with each fight against more experienced opponents. Who is going to be the first fighter to not get dominated by him? Is he on the path to being the champion in the welterweight division in the UFC and potentially facing the number one pound for pound fighter Kamaru Usman? Let us know what you think, fight fans. As always, we appreciate the support. Thanks for watching and commenting below, and we'll see you next time on Knockout TV. What would you like to see next when you step into the octagon? Everybody, everybody, I come here for everybody. Kill everybody. I'm the champ, I'm the king, kid, everybody.